stomp, no collateral damage, no issues. We got a gentleman there holding his baby. He's about 25 feet away. We got the dog and the mother on the porch. This is safety. Safety at its finest. This was a high speed. We'd have to have boards everywhere. We'd have to clear the driveway. We'd need a crew with five guys. Here there's one operator and me, Gary Lowe, filming for a Pecan Trumpet. Now we only have to go below grade because uh, what happens is we end up putting soil and seed afterwards and that's in the uh, city uh, tender spec. So we don't have to go very deep. But as you can see, that's amazing. There's all the gravel. There's a basket in there. There's uh, all kinds of landscaping material in there. Feed gravel, everything else. And when I get out, I'll show you the, uh, the uh, teeth and there's no collateral damage. So he's going to come up and we're going to take a look. And there is absolutely no damage whatsoever with uh, River Rock. As you can see, everything's in good order, and this is the kind of rock we're dealing with, so amazing. We are about to show you some operational techniques of doing stumping with the new Pecan Stump X. Here we have an operator sitting in the machine ready to go with stumps ahead of us. He basically lifts the machine up in an idle position, and he will approach the stump accordingly. The first thing he does, brings the machine to the stump and places the cutter tool cone in the center of the stump. Notice that he is in an idle. Once he is in the right position, he will gear up the throttle and he will proceed to engage the stump. Now he will lower the boom slowly into the stump and proceed cutting the stump. Notice that he's very slow and gentle in the beginning of the process. There's no reason to put any force onto this tool. That is unnecessary and it only cause cone wear. So you start out very slowly and let the screw, screw cone do its job and let it thread into the stump at its own speed. This takes about a minute to get the screw cone into position before the actual cutting begins. So you need to be patient. A minute is only 60 seconds. Now, as you see, you're starting to cut. The operator does not move the carrier whatsoever. The carrier stays still. You do not lift the machine up in the air. You do not move the carrier whatsoever. You let the stump X cutter tool do its job, what it's designed to do, and that is slowly cut the stump in a safe, safe manner. You'll notice that we have the operator wearing all these PPE. He's got his glasses, hard hat, earmuffs on, and the door is closed. We have about a 15-foot parameter for safety. Even though this tool doesn't throw objects or wood chips very far, you still need to maintain about a 15-foot safety parameter. Again, you'll notice the operator is sitting in the machine and he hits the down control every second or third full revolution. He does not pick up the machine, he does not force the tool into the stump. He lets the tool tell him when he needs to hit the down, tap the down stroke of the loader arms. So basically, it's a nice, slow, steady process and you don't need to force anything, and you definitely don't need to move the machine. The tool will go in 20 inches deep and approximately 32 inches wide, so this will get everything out. You may have to bore in again further ahead or further behind just to get your feeder roots out, depending on the species, whether it's a tap root or it grows out. As you can see, this is a very safe, steady process that takes out the stump effectively 